Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on adiabatic mixing of two air streams with the help of psychrometric chart. So first I will read what is the given problem. One kilogram of air at 40 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 50% relative humidity is mixed with 2 kilogram of air at 20 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 20 degrees Celsius dew point temperature. Calculate temperature and specific humidity of the mixture. So this was the given problem. So let us first understand the given data with the help of the diagram. Now if we observe there are two different air streams so what is the condition for the first air stream? So it's a mass is 1 kilogram. Then it's a dry bulb temperature is 40 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 50%. So we will use here the suffix 1 for this first air stream. Now we will move for the second air stream. That is it's a mass is 2 kilogram. Then dry bulb temperature is 20 degrees Celsius and the dew point temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So we will use here the suffix 2 for this second air stream. Now when we mix these two air streams that is this is a first and second then what is the temperature and specific humidity of the mixture. So for this mixture we will use here the suffix 3 and we will find out the temperature and specific humidity of the mixture. Now we will write the condition of first mass of air that is at point 1. So M1 1 kilogram TD1 40 degree Celsius 5 1 50%. Then the condition of second mass of air so TD2 20 degree Celsius and dew point temperature that is TDP2 20 degree Celsius. Now according to this given data we have to plot here the point 2 as well as point 1. So what is the condition of the point 2? So dew point temperature is given and the dry bulb temperature is also given. Now if we observe on this inclined line here the dew point temperature is given. So here wet bulb or saturation temperature in degree Celsius. So dew point temperature is 20 degree Celsius. So we have to take here the 20 degree Celsius point and then what is the dry bulb temperature so again it is 20 degrees Celsius so if we observe here is the dry bulb temperature and we have to take here one line vertical line for this 20 degree Celsius line so if we observe on the saturation point suppose the point is on the saturation then it's a dew point temperature or wet bulb temperature which is equal to dry bulb temperature temperature. So here dew point temperature and dry bulb temperature are same that means this point lies on the saturation line. So what is the saturation line where this relative humidity is 100% this line is known as the saturation line. So this point 2 is getting marked. Now we will move for the point 1. So what is the condition for the point 1? So it is given that temperature, dry bulb temperature 40 degree Celsius and the relative humidity 50%. So we have to mark here one vertical line. So here the green line I have shown here that is for 40 degree Celsius temperature and the relative humidity in percentage is given that is 50%. So here inclined line in percentage indicates the relative humidity. So here is 40% and here is 50%. So here is the point of intersection and this point will be point 1. Now we will find out what is the specific humidity for this point 1 as well as point 2. So this orange line indicates the specific humidity. So from this point 1 if we observe what is the exact value omega 1 is equal to 0 0.0238 and kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So this is the unit that is given in the psychrometric chart. We have to use the same unit. Now what is the value of omega 2? So if we observe here the exact value is 0 0.0148 kilogram per kilogram of dry air. So in this way 
for these two air streams, the specific humidity is getting selected from the psychrometric chart. Now, how to find out the exact location that is the point 3 on the mixture. So, point 3 will be on the in between this point 1 and point 2. So, how to find out that? So, here we have one relation for the specific humidity and, bit, and in between the masses of these two air streams that is at point 1 and 2. So, we have to take that relation and we will find out first what is the specific humidity at this point 3. So here we have formula M1 by M2 which is equal to omega 3 minus omega 2 divided by omega 1 minus omega 3. Now if we observe here this term omega 3 is unknown because omega 3 means what the specific humidity at point 3 and point 3 is getting selected for the mixture which is unknown. So if we put all other known values that is m1 is known m2 is also known and omega 1 omega 2 is known so what is the value of omega 3 that is 0 0.0178 kilogram per kilogram of dry air so this is the value so now with this value we can take here one extension or here the orange line i have shown and when this line from this specific humidity is intersect at this green line that is the line joining 1 to 2 then that point of intersection is known as the point 3. So this is the exact location for the mixture of the uh, two air streams. Now what is the temperature for this point 3 that we have to find out. So TD3 so for this point 3 we have to take here one projection on this horizontal line at the bottom. So what is the temperature of the mixture? So TD3 is equal to 26.8 degree Celsius. So here I have shown with this green line from this point 3 and the exact value is 26.8 degree Celsius.